Hi, this is Edger Joe, and welcome to another video in my series on Excel tips and tricks. So, in the previous video, we were looking at the uh, count if function, and today's video, I want to have a quick look, a uh, quick recap, and then just um, do some drop down lists for this column and do another drop down list for this column, and uh, then I'm going to do an if statement to, uh, sorry, a VLOOKUP to do the price for this one, and then hopefully. I will say whether or not it was successful. So let's hope I can get through all of this in about five minutes. So let's have a go. So I want to do data validation for the requested seat. They've got an option of sitting in the front, middle, or back. I'm just going to add a sold out. Whoops, sold out. And I'm going to make the prize zero, 00 for that one. And just make that look nice. This is for my. Um, allocated seat. So now I'm with the requested seat. So the requested seat, I'm going to go to data and then I'm going to data validation and I'm going to say data validation. So I want to allow a list, so I click on list. Remember I then have to go find a source, so I click on that. The source will be my list on the lookup table and it's going to be front, middle and back. I click back on that icon and I say OK. So now I've got my list that I can choose from. So now I'm just going to do that. And obviously people can then, as they are entering this, they can look at um, filling this in by using the drop down list. And as before, if you type in a wrong value, you will get a, a, a pop-up that says the value you entered is not valid, uh, it's restricted, and so on. So that's the data validation, so you can only put in the values that we see over here. So I'm just going to say one more. So we've got that in. Okay, and then now I'll do the uh, the price, which is going to be a VLOOKUP. And basically what's going to happen in the VLOOKUP, I'm going to check this cell over here. If that cell matches any of these words, then it must return the second column over there. So let's do this. So equal VLOOKUP. If I'm going a bit too fast, I, I did make a video on VLOOKUP uh, in one of the earlier videos. So I'm going to look at that cell, comma, then I'm going to go to my lookup value, which is that part over there. That's my range, comma, and I'm going to return the second value, comma, and it must be an exact match. I'm going to double click this one. So that is then the false value, and then I enter it. So now you can see I've got the price there. I'm going to copy that down. And now we're running into the same problem as before with those values because we didn't use the, um, let me just delete that. We didn't use the name function. Or I didn't use the, uh, actually, I will quickly show you to do that. I'll just go back. I'll click on the first one. This range needs to be absolute cell references. So I just put a dollar sign in front of the letter and in front of the number. So dollar $B, dollar $4 dollar c and dollar six and i enter now when i copy it down it will always look at those values so you can see there even in this one dollar b dollar four dollar six dollar sorry dollar c dollar six even in the last one um, dollar b dollar four dollar c dollar six and i want to quickly format that right click format cells i want to make that a currency so I click on currency, two decimal places, I'll say OK. Now I've got currencies. Right, so I also want to have another one here that if they are not eligible, then I can just say um, no allocation. I'm just going to say no allocation. Let me make that capitals, no allocation. Right, I'm just going to do that. So that if someone wants to, that is not eligible, they get no allocation whatsoever. So if I go back to the main one, so the allocated seat, I go to my data and I click on the data validation. I'm going to select a list. I'm going to select my source from my lookup values. I'm just going to look at all of those. Click back on the icon, say OK, and then I'm going to copy it down. So for this one, um, he's not eligible, as we can see because he's too young to watch that, so we're going to say no allocation. And then we're going to look at the next one, and we can see that 
that is he wants the middle is he is and we're just going to say for this one he got the middle this one wants the front so we give him the front um, this one wants the back but let's say the back was full so we're just going to put him in the front um, and this one wants the front we're going to say yes this one wants the middle we're going to say no you get the back this one wants the uh, the back we give him the back oh that one is a no so not eligible not allocated where's my other no let me just do that before I forget okay cool so and then this one wants the front so we give him the front and that one wants the back and we say now you get the front okay cool so there we have um, the allocated and it's all been data validated the data has been validated now we want to know was it successful or not so basically if they got their uh, allocation then it was successful if they did not get the allocation they were not successful so um, we know this in this case no allocation no allocation no allocation and corresponds at the moment it corresponds with that but there could be variations so what I'm going to do with a success I'm going to do a simple if statement equal if open bracket if that cell is equal to uh, no allocation comma says so that is true say no whoops not like that say no otherwise say yes close bracket enter okay so I'll just copy that down and then we should have the three no's and the seven yeses again I'm gonna make it look tidy I'm gonna put it there and I'm going to just make them bold like that and then I'm gonna later on also show you how to do conditional formatting on this in the next video so um, I hope that makes sense let me just format these two as well I want to put them in the middle money always on the right hand side so I'm going to leave it like that right so I hope you enjoyed the recap um, video where we had um, a few lists and we have a couple of uh, well we've got an if statement and we have a VLOOKUP thank you for watching